Aldridge. Rod Hines has his own memories of those days. Bernie needed something to incite the crowd a little bit. He couldn't afford a funny car show, and I was willing to come up here and run for free at first because I felt that if I could get an in here and introduce Bernie to it properly with an exciting show, which I did a fire burnout and all over the track deal, just like a few are. It incited the crowd, and it incited Bernie. Bernie has been very excited all along. The old-time burnout was a little different from the modern version. Crews poured gasoline around the tires, then set it afire to increase traction. As this demonstration shows, it was spectacular, though dangerous. But what a crowd pleaser. Two thousand horsepower and speeds of more than 200 miles an hour are not unusual here. So there's plenty of excitement left in these fuel alters. And if you're a little confused about the name, ask an expert. Fuel alters, first of all they use nitromethane and the double A part of it simply means supercharged with nitro. Uh, the altered part of it is a roadster body, essentially. Uh, therefore, the fuel, meaning nitromethane, and altered for the roadster-type body. The blend of nitro and alcohol is basically a matter of personal choice. Everyone wants a winning combination. But whatever the recipe, it's a potent mixture. Once you get addicted to fuel, there's no going back. I think we're the modern-day gladiators is what it comes down to. Rod Hines is one of those gladiators, a veteran from the glory days. Now the gear is more sophisticated. Safety is always a consideration when you're sitting on 10 or 12 gallons of nitromethane. But that ride is still the same and still worth it. It's such a rush. There's, it's, it's something that I would rather do than anything at that particular moment. There, you, Oh, I'd give up my wife to do this if I could drive every day, but it lays you back in the seat so hard you can't even hold on the steering wheel hardly. You're just hanging on and pointing. Unless you get in a car and take a ride, you don't understand because it's too hard to really get into good words. Just about every fan has a good word for the real stars of this sport. I love this car. Fans come in all shapes and sizes. The noise. The noise of the car. Quick and loud. Pretty much describes it. Fast and squirrely. That's about it. Um, uh, unpredictable. Unpredictable is a word that keeps coming up. Owners and drivers agree that fuel alters are not for those interested in keeping entirely on the straight and narrow path. The fuel alters are a shorter wheelbase than the funny cars, and they're not quite as predictable. They don't go quite as straight. The fans like to see excitement. Never know. A good pass is if you don't go over the guardrail or cross the center line, don't run over somebody. So, I mean, they, they love them, sure. Guys who were driving the cars were, good, were some more dramatic heroes because they could see them inside the car in the cockpits. And the cars are evil handling cars. They usually don't go straight. Evil handling? Maybe so. After all, a car called Pure Hell burned up its share of tracks. For other drivers like Leon Fitzgerald, the ride was pure heaven started way back uh, when they were so short and they were so ill handling and the cars uh, only made one out of maybe three passes that would go straight down the strip the rest of the time there was a little sideways and broken the tires and everything and so it was an exciting thing to watch the excitement continues today with a restored pure heaven the car was rediscovered by owner bob nylander and his wife karen the car looked real familiar. When I first bought the car, I wasn't sure that it was the Pure Heaven car. It looked very familiar to me. And the more I checked and checking back through old books, I found that it was the car. He painted another color, and it was called Middle Age Crazy. And he found out the history, and he said it looked like Pure Heaven. And it was. Today, it's pure pleasure whenever hot rodders get together. Many are hoping fuel alters will make a comeback. The future of uh, fuel alters, I think, will be that they'll be exhibition cars for a while. I think that public demand is going to ask that they become part of our pro shows. And that in the next few years, they're going to be an, in addition to the already great pro program that we have in National Hot Rod Association. I'd like to see it come back. I mean, as I said earlier, it's been my favorite car. And, uh, 
there's a lot of following. I know when they started bringing the cars back and talking about them, there was an awfully lot of spectator interest, and that really means a lot to the fellows that would like to see these things come back. Uh, I suppose a lot of us, we are here today just because we want to see it happen. Meantime, it's the wildest ride around. It's exciting. It's like driving between two walls of fire, I and mean, it is neat. And then you get the shoot down at the other end, and it just, uh, it's total quiet. That's what's really eerie. As you go from this thing that's just droning your head with total noise, you get the other end, you hit the shoot, and the thing with the throttle off, it's like silence. And silence is golden at that moment because you can think about what you just did, and it's such a rush.